it's no coincidence that they're just doing so well at the moment and, and with him back in the team and, and the new signings in. So quick throw, throw in taken by St. Pat's, excuse me, and Lewis just spreads it wide to the feet of Smith, who was playing against his former club this evening. Scored in the 1 1 at the RSC. So Forrester to Lewis to McCormick, that midfield three combining well with quick one and two touch football. This is a fifth St. Pat's start for Ben McCormick. He's also made 14 substitute appearances this season. He's only 18 as well. The reason the injury to uh, Robbie Benson has given McCormick a chance to play in some big matches, including that game in Dundalk on Super Sunday. It's a really good header by Lee Desmond, but we don't, we don't need to force it. Paddy Barrett tried to deal with the forced. And Forrester just poked that one down the line to Birmingham, whose left foot across is cleared. But again, Sam Bone very aggressive in his pressing. And it's led to St. Pat's winning the ball back in a decent area. And Billy King, two step overs, three step overs. Billy strike with his left foot, he will King. And he dragged it just wide of the near post. And uh, he was left out last week in the dock here. Come on, won the penalty on the right of midfield. And that's a, a cross into the box and Pat's had three or four players in there but a, a quick throw by the goalkeeper so we'll stick with this attack for just a second as Junior has an opportunity and it's a lovely bit of skill by Junior to skip by Lee Desmond here and he's going to run up towards the uh, St. Pat's box but he's Desmond one of the best 1v1 defenders against him and Junior left footed and that's easy for a bit of Slav Yaros we're joined in the commentary box by Johnny McDonnell the former St. Pat's player and manager Johnny what have you made of the first 10 St. Pat's off to go long he's coming from the striker's position over to this near side the one thing, Jay, and obviously Melvin's come back, uh, names come back fr from Reading, um, and, and listen, delighted that he's getting the start. He done really well and done dark last week as well, because uh, we didn't see too much of him when it's. Oh, that's a short kick by the goalkeeper Murphy straight to the feet of Smith, and that's a great pass to Ben McCormick who has space to shoot here. McCormick, and it's dipped just over the crossbar, no touch by the goalkeeper. A sloppy mistake by Brian Murphy, really, Jay, and McCormick. Who's so, as Johnny said, I think Pat has been a fantastic fit for Lee and. You know, we're very fortunate to have him here because he's been a fantastic servant so far and, and long may that continue. Back to the game with St. Pat's on the attack through Chris Forrester but that's headed away by Nolan who's back at centre-back after playing that brilliant pass just a couple of moments ago. So McCormick going on the overlap. I think Sam Bone probably wanted a face to play with and eventually it's actually Phoenix Patterson and that's a lovely pass by Barrett into King. And Melvin Lambert tries to spray it wide, but it's to Maddie Smith, and he has scored Maddie Smith against his former club, an eighth goal of the season. 23 minutes gone here at Richmond. As I said before, when you don't have Europe, you have that match every week. You just want to go and win matches. Yeah, and also from St. Pat's point of view, Jar, apart from you know competing to win the league with Shamrock Rovers, which they clearly are, every three points is three points closer to Europe next season, which is something that everybody here at Richmond would love to have back. And here goes Billy King checking inside on his right foot, and he's found Forrester on the edge of the box. And his shot just wide of the near post. And again, King, since he's come over to this side, you know, Matty Smith with that first half, a flick on that almost created a chance for Billy King. And now it's crossed towards the back post. And it's John Martin, actually, who was defending, but he's been robbed by Dara Burns into Melvin Lambert. And he slashed that shot just wide of the front post. And Burns, we've seen a couple of times this year, Jerry, so bright on turnovers. And he did. You know, he's, he's a local lad as well, so he'd know a lot of the surroundings and stuff like that. But, um, oh. That's a short one by Paddy Barden. He's been robbed here, and it's Junior racing through the pace of Lee Desmond to get across. And that is a big, big let off for St. Pat's. Junior took it with his left foot. I think Desmond actually did well just to force him into making a seat. The ball and, tr and try and get control again. Yeah, wouldn't be surprised to see maybe someone like Jamie Lennon quite soon as another defensive option in midfield because under a little bit of pressure here but now they're on the attack because Birmingham will cross it towards the back post and it's towards Nahum Melvin Lambert who has headed into the net to make it St. Pat's 2 Waterford nil on loan for Prince oh what a what a turn by Junior skill of the match so far He and he's won a penalty here what a turn what a piece of skill we spoke in the first half about maybe his lack of defensive play but Jer and Johnny that's why he's in the team Same as quickly as possible again it's just as you say the turn but the pace they get away and there's no margin for error with the defender as soon as he feels the touch he's gone penalty all day so Junior against Vitislav Yaros in the 64th minute here at Richmond Park it's a big big moment for Waterford and it's a goal it's St. Pat's 2 Waterford 1 Yaros went the right way Jer but it's into the bottom you just want the likes of Chris Forrester, Johnny, don't you? Just, just to step on Jamie Lennon, just get on the, get on the ball. Either turn them for a few minutes, put, put the ball back into their territory, get a few throw-ins, get a little bit like this, pick up those second balls. 
That's all you need to do. The second phase of attack and spread them, stretch them. Here's Burns crossing it in towards the back post, looking back to Johnny Mack in just a second because it's dropped to Jamie Lennon, who I think would have whacked it if I had it just dropped, but unfortunately it just seemed to run away from him. And it, it was a shot when the ball wasn't maybe in his.